Squarespace versus WordPress. The ultimate showdown is about to begin. In this video, you're gonna learn which one's easier to use, which one's better for e-commerce, blogging, SEO, even local SEO, customizability, cost. We're talking time and money because time is money. And money sometimes costs you time. You know what I mean? And uh, we're gonna wrap it all up in a nice little bow so that you know whether you should pick Squarespace or WordPress. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it. I will be responding to them directly and would be happy to make another video explaining some more details if I left anything out. Now, I am gonna be using real world data. I'm gonna be using myself and my clients' websites as examples for all of these. So I'm not just reading reviews and reading what other people are doing. This is real world data. Okay, so I'm not, this is not bias. Um, they are both great options for a particular use case. And we're gonna explore all of that in this video. So let's get into it. I forgot to mention that the WordPress that we're gonna be talking about in all of this video is the WordPress that you host on your own hosting server. So this is not the one where you go to wordpress.com, I believe it is, um, and you have a uh, domain, you know, you'd have your myblog.wordpress.com. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, the real WordPress where you can install any plugin, any theme you want, and you host it on a hosting server. Um, so just a quick little clarification, and uh, now we can get back into uh, what we were talking about. So the first factor when it comes to deciding between Squarespace and WordPress for your website is how easy is it gonna be for you to use? Now, this is a big factor for many. So if you are somewhat tech challenged or you know, you've know you got um, a limited knowledge in building websites or limited knowledge in just using the computer in general, that's okay. You can raise your hand, it's okay. Um, you know, uh, not all of us spend all day in front of the computer and I commend you for that. Um, so, the winner of ease of use easily goes to Squarespace because everything is embedded, just everything is all under one roof. You simply go to Squarespace, select a theme, and start putting your content in there, and you can launch, and by the end of the weekend, you could have a full website ready for the world to view. Um, but you will be a little bit limited in some other options that we're gonna talk about later on in this video. So ease of use easily goes to uh, Squarespace, pun not intended, um, but I will say that as far as WordPress is concerned, it can be tackled. You know, you can, you can accomplish uh, the website that you want. It's just gonna be like drinking from a fire hydrant for a little bit of time while you are working through learning all of this, this stuff, this muck, this hosting, this themes, plugins, um, you know, you might have to know a little bit of code, but not entirely, depending on what theme you choose. Um, so I would say uh, if we're going to give stars to this, if we're going to rate these things out of, out of five stars, I would say ease of use, five stars for Squarespace, ding, 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 um, whereas WordPress gets maybe three stars for ease of use. Um, and we're talking for beginners, okay? So ease of use for beginners, five stars, five out of five for Squarespace, and a three out of five for WordPress. All right, so that's ease of use. Next up, we're talking about e-commerce. So if you are looking to sell stuff on the internet, which I very much encourage you to do because uh, the world is your oyster when you're on the internet, um, and we're talking e-commerce in the, the strictest sense of shipping hard goods to people. Um, we, can, we can talk digital downloads, but I think there are better options for that outside of uh, WordPress or Squarespace, okay? Um, Squarespace, you can do digital downloads. It's just kind of a little funky. Um, I think they're adding more support for that though. So e-commerce, um, the clear winner for this, in my opinion, um, working on client sites with e-commerce is got to be Squarespace. Another winner right there. Um, I'm gonna give it four out of five stars for e-commerce. Um, they've got everything baked in the box. You have to pay a little bit extra, which we'll talk about in the cost section. Um, but 
you you will have everything that you need but i will give an honorable mention to shopify if you really plan on having a large e-commerce store um, and that's where you know if you're going to be having a lot of volume of sales then you want to really look at shopify because it has all of the tools that you need to sell online that's just the way it is squarespace is going to be is going to kick its butt in uh, ease of use and uh, getting up and running but uh, we're not talking about Shopify much in this. We're doing WordPress versus Squarespace. Uh, WordPress gets a stinking like two out of five, um, maybe even a one out of five. I would not recommend using WordPress for your e-commerce shop. If you wanna have a WordPress website and you wanna have a shop on Shopify, then uh, you could do something like shop.severinwebstudio.com and then you can actually, you know, uh, drop in your subdomain for your shop and then have everything else living on WordPress. Um, that's what I would recommend because WooCommerce is the most popular plugin for using, for having an e commerce functionality on your WordPress site. And it's just super clunky. And um, I would not recommend it to anybody. Uh, you, it's just a lot more work than is necessary. So uh, yeah, two out of five stars. Please don't, don't waste your time, energy and effort putting a shop on WordPress. Um, so if you're looking for a quick, easy e-commerce, I wanna put five things up for sale by this weekend, then by all means go to Squarespace. Now I will have another honorable mention to my video, Squarespace versus Square because Square has some decent online selling capabilities. Um, and you may wanna check that video out if you're looking at e-commerce and keeping the cost low and you're intimidated by Shopify, then please check that video out. Links will be down in the description below. Next up, we're talking blogging. So this is probably the main reason that you're looking to have a website. Um, you know, kind of a secondary reason to maybe you've got a local business. Um, but if you are looking to have articles, blog, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, if you're looking to have um, some pages on your website that are long form and that you're trying to get traffic from Google or from Pinterest, um, then we're talking blogging, okay? Now, for getting your blog up and running quickly and not being confused, um, Squarespace takes the cake. I'm gonna give it four to five stars. Um, but I will say that if you really wanna take blogging seriously, then you need to highly, highly consider WordPress. And we're gonna talk more about why that is in the next sections. So I would definitely go for WordPress, five out of five stars for blogging. That's what it was built for. That was like its inception. Um, and all of that can also be learned down in the description below. There is a link to a article that I wrote that is um, you know, going more in depth here with Squarespace versus WordPress. And you might find some interesting stuff there about the history of Squarespace and WordPress and how those two things differ. Um, so we're gonna take intermission right now and uh, I'm gonna introduce myself because I don't think I've done that yet. I'm too busy just feeding you information my name is Jeremiah. I own and operate Severin Web Studio, where we help clients take on the world of the internet and make their website work for them. If you at any point say, I need help, I do offer a free 20 minute consultation. A link will be down below. And I offer coaching, uh, consulting. I could do it for you. I could help you along the way if you need any help. Um, you know, please reach out and I would be more than happy to help. I'm on a mission to help make the internet a better place, one website at a time. So if I can help you do that, I'm gonna be moving closer to my goal. Next up, we're talking big subject here, SEO, search engine optimization. So which one is the winner for Squarespace versus WordPress in the SEO world? Well, the clear winner is WordPress. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be saying, but wait, Squarespace has all these SEO features. They got it all baked in. It, it's got the stuff for the description and the, 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 the meta tags and all that. Why, why are you saying that WordPress is the winner here for, for SEO? Well, 
The reason is that last year in uh, 2021, Google released a Core Web Vitals update. And if you don't know what that is, if you want to learn more about that, I do have a video all about that update and why Squarespace is failing at uh, addressing it. So what it is, is that your website needs to load super duper fast and uh, particularly on mobile devices. And Squarespace kind of loudly gagged with uh, this update. And even still, um, I'm not 100% impressed with what they've done. They've made some changes and it's gotten a little bit faster, but you are still at the mercy of the Squarespace platform and the backend code that you cannot access. So you are going to be hurting for speed there in that if you want to go all in on SEO and that is going to be your main play to get traffic and to grow your online presence, then you've got to go to WordPress. That is the only option in my eyes because you are going to be able to use all of the resources possible and you can just sweep the competition in speed. Um, I would highly recommend using WordPress for SEO, five out of five stars, with the caveat of you need to be careful about what themes and plugins you use. Um, I would highly recommend using the Carbonate WordPress theme, link in the description down below, and that will help you get your speed blazing fast. And you also need to make sure you use really good hosting. Don't use any hosting. Please, 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 for the life of all good things on the internet, do not use a hosting company that has the word blue in it or the word gator in it. Okay? That's all I'm going to say there. Please use a WordPress specific hosting company like SiteGround, WP Engine. Uh, I believe there's another one called like WPX or something like that. Um, these are WordPress specific hosting companies and they will do a much, much better job. I've seen many use cases where simply moving hosting companies, not doing anything else to their website, their speed 10 x and how fast it loaded. Okay, so please, please use some high quality hosting. It's a few dollars more a month, but it's way worth it if you're going all in on SEO and if you're going all in on your business on, on your website, then you wanna have good hosting. It's like the brick and mortar of your business, okay? Invest in good hosting, please. I personally use SiteGround for myself and for all of my clients, and I would highly recommend SiteGround as well. Their support is superb, and uh, they've got all the tools and functionalities that you need, and they've got a really great interface. Um, whereas the SEO ability of Squarespace is a little bit uh, lacking you know you can get a, a decent ways with it but it's kind of like you can go 80% and then if you want to get that remaining 20% if you've got some high competition keywords that you're going after then WordPress is simply going to be your only option there um, whereas Squarespace you know maybe they'll get their stuff together at some point but um, I would not uh, bet my business on Squarespace which is why SeverinWebStudio.com is on WordPress because we are, you know, we're putting everything in on our business here. So, um, and I saw a clear correlation when we moved from Squarespace to WordPress. I mean, traffic just whoop, went up and to the right. Uh, same thing with Will Gibbons, uh, one of my clients that we moved over from Squarespace to WordPress. Um, he was kind of realized that he's kind of at that threshold where he could no longer get more out of his website and uh, we moved him over to WordPress, and I mean, numbers are just cranking. He continues to crank on content, putting out blog posts. Um, he also is a big YouTuber. So he's, he's pushing things really hard. So don't get me wrong, you have to put in the work also besides just picking a good platform. If you want good SEO, you gotta put in the work, okay? So um, bottom line, clear winner is WordPress in that department, all right? Um, so next up is going to be a little mini category on SEO. We're going to talk about local SEO. So this is if you are a, a plumber, a restaurant, a mechanic, um, anything like that where you're like a local service provider or a local brick and mortar um, and you're trying to get more people who are searching something near me. Um, so we're talking about that specifically. So this does not have to do with content as much uh, or blog content. It has to do more with local searchability. 
Um, Squarespace will again get you 80% of the way there. And if you have low competition difficulty, then you might be okay. You might be able to uh, win off the coattails of good reviews, uh, good location, um, and low competition. Uh, but if you, again, if you want to have everything in your arsenal, then you got to go with WordPress for local SEO. So I'm going to give WordPress five out of five stars for local SEO and Squarespace is going to get four out of five stars for local SEO. The job can be done. You just got to have low competition and you got to be really good at what you do. If you are new to the space, if this is a new business, um, and you're not creating any hype on social media you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you're not cre you're not paying for any ads to get those initial customers. You don't have a prime downtown location. If you need everything in your arsenal to rank higher, then you, you should really go for WordPress because that's gonna give you a good foundation to work off of. Um, if you want more information on local SEO, um, you know, be sure to subscribe. There's gonna be tons more videos coming out all about local SEO here. So, uh, you know, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, subscribe and, and we'll take you down that rabbit hole because it's a fun one to go down. So that concludes the SEO segment of Squarespace versus WordPress. If you are currently on Squarespace and you're thinking about moving to WordPress, I do have a course called Graduate Squarespace where I help people do just that. Um, because at a certain point you might feel you've outgrown Squarespace as a blogging website platform. I know um, I certainly have seen many clients at that point before, um, and so I created a course to try to help more people make that jump and to do it in an SEO friendly way. Otherwise, you can make some big mistakes and suddenly you'll be wondering where all your traffic went because you didn't hit the right boxes. So again, all that will be in the description down below, and uh, we'll get on with the video here. So the next step is customizability. I don't know if that is actually Word, but I'm making it one. Um, how customizable is Squarespace versus WordPress? Um, this is kind of like a, it feels like a trick question because mm -hmm. Squarespace does allow you to customize CSS, you can add JavaScript, uh, you can embed custom HTML, all those sorts of things, and you can make your website look however you want with CSS. Um, however, you won't be able to customize like conditional logic or very specific things. Um, like I, I will show you an example on the screen here of Will Gibbons site where we've got uh, in the middle of his um, blog, in the middle of any of his blog articles, we've got a call out in the middle of his uh, article asking people if they want access to this free roadmap. That's customized in WordPress and automatically places it in there with some lines of code. So we don't have to go in and paste it into every blog post, which is what you would have to do on Squarespace. You would have to go in and manually copy and paste this, this block of code in the middle of all your blog posts. Now, if you have five blog posts, easy enough. But if you have 50 or 100, then it's going to be a pain in the rear. So that's where the customizability of WordPress gets five out of five stars and the custom customizability of Squarespace gets three and a half out of five stars. You can make your website look pretty with Squarespace, but you can't make your website function like you want, like you would be able to with WordPress. So the winner there is WordPress. Now, with the customizability, I will mention that you can go too far on both of these, but it's a lot easier to go too far in the WordPress category because you could get crazy and start adding all sorts of plugins and suddenly your website is taking 10 seconds to load versus taking 500 milliseconds to load. Now, that is a big issue that you gotta be aware of, especially if you start installing bloated themes if you start installing all sorts of fancy plugins, it can get pretty tricky. So if you are just starting out on WordPress and you need help figuring out what's right for you, please reach out below for a free 20 minute consultation and I would love to point you in the right direction. We'd get you on some coaching. 
I, I want to make sure that you are doing this right and you're not frustrated with why isn't this loading fast like it's supposed to be. Um, so please keep things simple, keep things minimal, and uh, just know that you can go down a slippery slope with WordPress pretty easily with all the plugins and themes. All right, that concludes customizability. Next up, we're talking cost. How much is it gonna cost, huh? How many greenbacks are we talking here? How many hours of time is it gonna take? Is it gonna take minutes, hours, days, weeks? We're gonna break that down here, okay? And this is kind of a tricky thing to answer, right? Because it depends on your skill level. It depends on how much time you have versus how much money you have, right? If you have more money, you could just pay somebody like me to build your website for you and you could care less, right? It'll take just a few weeks you know, four to six weeks, and you can have a full-fledged WordPress website just how you want it, all ready to rock and roll. Um, versus if you don't have a lot of money and you're just working with your time, then, uh, you know, it could take you uh, many sleepless nights to get either of these up and running. But I will say that the cost of time will go to Squarespace. If you're doing it yourself, you will be able to get up and running much faster with Squarespace. A five out of five stars for time cost versus probably a three out of five stars for WordPress because you can do it quickly, but only if you follow the right tutorial, um, which will be coming out soon, and if you have everything ready to rock and roll. Um, so, you're gonna save a lot of time if you go to Squarespace. If you need a website up by next week, pick Squarespace, okay? Uh, so next we're talking about the cost of money. How much money does it cost? Well, Squarespace costs about 20-ish dollars a month. They just recently raised their prices and I'm not going to say an exact number because then this video would not age well. Um, so be sure to go in the link in the description to see current pricing for uh, Squarespace and for WordPress hosting. But um, at about 20 to $30 a month, I will say for Squarespace, it's gonna cost a little bit more money for Squarespace than it is for WordPress over time, okay? If we're talking startup cost, WordPress might cost a little bit more because maybe you'll be uh, inclined to buy a premium theme if you need to buy any premium plugins um, then you could be looking at a maybe two to three hundred dollar startup cost with WordPress. If you bought a year's worth of SiteGround hosting, that's about two hundred dollars unless you get a deal on it. Um, and then you're looking at you know maybe a hundred dollar theme. So you're looking at about three hundred dollars to get started on WordPress. And then after that, it costs mm, about ten dollars a month uh, for hosting if you were to average it out for the year. Um, I highly recommend paying yearly for both of these services to get a break on cost, but I digress. Uh, Squarespace, on the other hand, is going to be more expensive because it's going to cost you 30 ish dollars a month, depending on if you're doing e-commerce or not. Um, and then also, if at a certain point in time you have to make the switch, if you decide to graduate Squarespace and move from Squarespace to WordPress or to some other platform, Shopify or whatever ends up suiting your business at that time, then uh, that's gonna cost some money. Versus WordPress, um, it's built to expand, it's built to grow. I mean, there's huge websites on WordPress with thousands of articles that have been around for eons and they continue to grow with their WordPress website. With Squarespace, at a certain point in time, Squarespace 7.1 is gonna go away, that's the current version that's out, and whatever version comes out after that, you're more likely going to have to manually move everything over to the new version. Pain in the rear, if you ask me. Um, but as far as immediate for cost, Squarespace is gonna be the winner there. So take what you will there. Uh, cost of money, we're gonna give uh, four out of five stars to Squarespace. Cost of money to WordPress is gonna be three 0.5 stars. Well, let's go four stars. I'm gonna say break even. We're gonna say four stars, uh, four out of five stars for for WordPress, four to five stars for Squarespace, because of the longevity. Okay, 
So we're talking, uh, because this is business, right? We're asking what's the ROI, what's the return on investment? Um, you could almost put five out of five stars for WordPress, four out of five stars for Squarespace, but I'm being nice and I'm gonna say we're tying there. So in conclusion, who should choose what? Squarespace versus WordPress. I may have left you with more questions than you had coming into this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will answer them. It'd be great to have a nice little resource down below for all the newcomers that are coming in and asking some of the same questions possibly. Um, if you are looking to have a website up and running super fast, you don't want to have any maintenance, you don't want to think about all these extras, then go for Squarespace. It's a good place to start where you don't have to think about all these extras. It focuses you to concentrate on the content of your website, the words and the photos, versus WordPress where you have to think about all these other things. However, if you're willing to invest a little bit of time, energy, and effort into a WordPress blog because you know you want to take blogging seriously, then I would highly recommend investing in WordPress, SiteGround Hosting, Carbonate WordPress theme that's blazing fast, I would highly recommend doing that from the get-go if you have that option available to you. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that you learned some things about Squarespace versus WordPress, and I hope that uh, you are able to move forward. So let me know down below what you chose. What, what, what are you leaning towards choosing and moving forward with? Um, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this where we compare builders and give you tutorials on all these builders and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.